Hi, I'm Colin Walls and I'm here again to talk about embedded software. Today I want to talk about writing code which is clear and easy to understand. That's really a priority in writing any code because maintenance is what programming is often all about. In other words, you need to look at the code and understand what it does before you can make any changes to it. So writing it to be clear in the first place is an obvious requirement. Now, it's fairly easy to write obscure, difficult to understand code in almost any language. Some languages, however, can help you write clearer code more than others. And C++ has some functionality in it which enables clearer code to be written. So, in C++, it's an object-oriented language, so it has a capability called a class. Now, a class is, in effect, a new data type. Because when you create an object from a class, it can contain data, and it, contain code, and it may contain code, and that code will typically operate on that data. The functions inside a class, inside an object, are called member functions, or methods. Now, this enables us to create operations which we perform on the data. So, for example, if you have created a new class, you have some objects of that class called Alpha and Beta, and you wanted to add Beta to Alpha, then you might invoke a member function in Alpha called dot, or called dot add, and the add function would take as a parameter Beta. Now, that code is clear enough, but it's not as intuitive as I would like it to be. Now, if alpha and beta were just ordinary, say, int variables, how would you add beta to alpha? Well, the answer is you'd write something like alpha plus equals beta. Now, in C++, we can overload the plus equals operator such that it works on our new data type. So you can write code exactly like this for the purposes of operating on your new data type. Alternatively, you can overload the plus operator and write code like this. So you have alpha equals alpha plus beta. This is um, really ideal for ex-Pascal programmers and people who like programming in BASIC. So C programmers probably prefer the plus equals operator. Same difference, they both work the same way. A long time ago, I was learning C++ and I got a book which led me badly astray because the author didn't think very smartly about operator overloading. And what he did was overload the plus operator, such as you could write code like this, alpha plus beta semicolon. Now, what I would expect this code to do intuitively is take the values of alpha and beta, add them together, and throw away the result. What he was doing, though, was adding beta to alpha. In other words, he overloaded the plus operator with the functionality that belongs to the plus equals operator. That's really obfuscation, as I'm concerned. It's using the operator in a way which is not intuitive to the reader. So, please don't do it. Sadly, it's widely applied, even in standard C++ code. For example, I regard the operators shown here now as being bitwise shift operators. But no, when you, operate, when you use these operators with the standard input-output objects, they mean input some data or output some data. And graphically, it looks kind of sensible to input data from C in into the I variable or output some data to C out from the expression on the right. It looks kind of sensible, but the operators are really doing something fundamentally different. Is this right or wrong? Um, that's for you to decide, really. This is the way it is done. I don't really like it. I think it's better that operators maintain their core functionality and you don't play fast and loose giving them other capabilities. That's my opinion, and that's what we'll end with today. So please think about using overloading of operators in a smart way in order to make your workload clearer, not just to show what a clever programmer you are. So thanks, that's all I've got time for today. See you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.